Spectrum's DXS transmitter. It comes with a lot of your ready to fly airplanes. Plus you can buy it individually like I did. And I got it for you guys so that we can see all of its capabilities. Right now, let's unbox it, put the batteries in it, use the little adapter program cable it comes with, and then my USB program cable will connect it to the home computer, to the Spectrum updater, and let's see if we can register it to me, and let's see if it needs an update. And then in a second video, we'll see about putting some other airplanes in it, and uh, we'll just do all kinds of cool stuff. We'll see and try everything we can do with the DXS. So, hey, sit tight. Let's get this guy unboxed. <clears throat> hey, YouTube. It's Sean with Griffin RC Planes. Long time no see, huh? I've been extremely busy. And uh, if you want to see what I'm doing, I've got a second uh, channel called YouTube Pays My Mortgage. And I'm doing a complete home renovation. I got to have it done in the next couple of months. I got to move my mom in with me. Uh, assisted living, they, they, uh, they're they expensive and can't really pay for it forever. So got to move her in. So we got the DXS transmitter. This comes with your ready to fly airplanes. Plus you can get it individually like I did. You know, there's some other capabilities with this thing besides the airplane that you got it with. You know, let's say you bought the Aero Scout and the DXS came with it. And then, uh, you bought a bind and fly commander. Well, you can take the Aero Scout out of it and put the commander in it. You know, so then maybe this switch over here would operate the flaps. There's uh, some other capabilities with this other than how it just came with your ready to fly. So let's uh, explore everything together. I got it just for you guys. So let's see what all it can do. In this video, we'll use the adapter program cable that came with it. And my USB program cable will connect it to the home computer. And let's see if it needs an update. And if we can register it to me. And we'll just see what it looks like connected to the computer. You just never know. You never, never know. There was a lot of questions about uh, can this transmitter be used as a trainer? And it can. But you got to put some effort into it. You got to buy an SRXLT receiver to go in the back of it. There's a little plug right here where you would put it. And, you know, if you're gonna spend the money on that to make this a trainer, I would say invest in another transmitter, unless you were already gonna get another transmitter and you wanted to help, you know, other people learn to fly, so you would need a second one. Well, then you could get the, the receiver to put in the back here so that you could use it as a trainer. You know, this, this transmitter can bind to your airplane to fly, but if you want to be able to bind it to another transmitter to have the training capabilities, this thing's got to be able to bind to two items. So that's why it needs the other, the other receiver that you can put in the back here. And we'll explore all that stuff too. All right, so I put the batteries in it. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't know why I put the door in it. I was trying to slide it down. So in the back here, let me show you where we plug up things. All right, got the back of it here. So that white plug is where you would plug in the SRXL2 receiver if you're going to use it as a trainer. The adapter cable that it comes with, see that's the, the bare pins there. I believe they plug in right down there. There's two separate plugs in there. And I went to the directions real quick to see if it mattered which way we plugged this in, and I didn't see anything on it. So we'll just uh, we'll just try it one way or the other and see see what happens. Maybe it won't uh, maybe it won't let me or something going one way or the other. All right, it went in that way with the blue wire up. Fairly easy. This was a little tougher. And it went in it went, went in both ways. So we'll uh we'll try it either way. Let's get the computer. While I'm waiting on the computer to turn on, 
I just noticed on the back of the battery door, there's directions on reversing the uh, channels. So that's a couple cool more options that this transmitter has that I didn't know about. Okay, so I got the batteries in the transmitter. I got the little adapter cable that it came with, with the black wire on top and the blue wire on bottom. And then we're going to plug it up to the USB program cable. And I've got it plugged into the computer already. Black to black. Just like so. And then turn on the transmitter. And now we'll take a look at the at the screen here. Where 1.29 in it. And it says check for updates. So I'm going to click check for updates. And it wants me to register it as part of my products uh, for the, you know, in, in my Spectrum account. So I'm going to label this DXS1. Please notify me about Spectrum updates. Yes. And register device. And now it's checking for updates. And there is an update. 1.30.03. And it currently has 1.29. So your DXS probably needs an update. Mine has 1.29. And the online update. 1.30.03. So we'll go ahead and install the update and let's see what the update does. <clears throat> well, this update allows, you can pause it right now or I'll try to read it. You know, this update allows for the ability to change between four different airplane profiles and helicopter profile and heli profile using the trim inputs just like we saw on the battery door. These profile increases compatibility with popular E-Flight, Hobby Zone, and Blade helicopters. So if you want to use it with something else besides the ready to fly that it came with, then obviously you need to have this update and you can use the trim, trim buttons to program it. And so we're gonna learn all that stuff, guys. We're gonna learn it all. So let's click update. Updating the DXS from the 129 to 1.30. And the update came out March 18th, 2021. So it's been out for a while. You know, depending on when your you know you got your transmitter, it might already have the 1.30 in it. So now it just uh, turned off and on and reset it. There's my serial number, and we have soft, software version 1.30. And then down here at the bottom, you can see where it says uh, you can install new software, drag and drop, and, and we'll explore all the different stuff to do the changes and modifications to the DXS and see everything that it can be used for. All right, guys, cool. So now we know that the DXS can be registered to us and it's updatable. So the next video, we'll see uh, what this does just out of the box, you know, how the controls, if they're reversed or not or whatever. And then we'll explore some of the other models that we can put in it. So we'll try all kinds of stuff with this. And this is also mode one, and we'll see the difference between mode one, mode two, and then we'll convert it from a mode one to mode two. So we'll do all kinds of stuff with this. So I appreciate it. Hey guys, if you get anything out of my videos, make sure that you're subscribed. Give me a like, leave a comment. That's the best way to support me. Not selling t-shirts or bumper stickers, just uh, subscriptions and likes and comments. So thank you guys. Okay, hey, happy flying. Until next time, you'll see me here. No button. All right, adios. If you want to win a jet like this, 
all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying.